Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial. I always feel really iffy about saying that. I feel like it's not a tutorial. I'm gonna be showing y'all how I got this look. Spring is coming up. And don't nobody want a bucket of foundation on their face when it's hot outside. I really have too much extra to say, except in the video, I know that the lighting probably changes a bunch of times. I'm sorry, but I'm sitting in front of this big window, so like, what are you gonna do? And, uh, that's pretty much it, so let's get started. So just for some clarity, if you hear some giggles in the back or some childlike sounds, that's because my two year old is sitting right here playing with his toys and he refuses to play in his room. He's not gonna do it, so. Sorry, not sorry. First thing I'm gonna do is put on this headband on top of my edges because I would like to not get makeup in them. So I'm starting with my eyebrows because, duh, that's what I do. And I'm using the same eyebrow pencil I've been using. It's the Huda Beauty Micro Shade Brow Pencil. And because I'm doing like spring makeup, everything is gonna be a little bit lighter, so my brows aren't gonna be as sculpted. I just do upward strokes. Just doing the upper strokes to make it look more hair-like in the front and toward the middle and the ends. I'm gonna sketch out a shape because my tail of my brow is a little not there. And before I move on to like concealing them and like cleaning them up to look pristine, I'm gonna start doing my face. So I'm gonna prime with this primer, the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk. So I don't like a lot of foundation in the spring, but I do still do my whole color correcting jam. So I'm gonna color correct with my LA Girl Pro Conceal concealers in orange and peach. I do let the corrector sit on my face for like a couple seconds so it can dry down a little bit before I blend it out because I just kind of want the edges to be blended and for the color to stay exactly where it is. I'm blending it out with this foundation brush from Morphe. I don't like to use a sponge for this part because that's just going to shear it out too much. Now I'm going to clean up my eyebrows just fairly quickly. I'm going to use this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm using the shade Tan Sand. Okay, so now I can put on my concealer and I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. I use the shade Amand. And I'm just gonna put that over everything I color corrected plus anything that I didn't color correct but I do wanna cover. And I'm not blending that out right away. I'm gonna give it a second to do the same little dry down thing that I did with the color corrector because it just helps it give more coverage. So instead of foundation, taking this tinted moisturizer from NARS, it's a little lighter than how I usually like my foundations. I'll put the new shade name down below. This is still the old shade name, but it's medium dark too. And I'm just gonna put that on like my forehead where I haven't put any product and other little places. So now I'm putting on concealer. It's the same concealer that I use to clean up my brows. 
that e.l.f. concealer. I'm only going to put it in these specific places on my face. And I'm going to put some on my lid um, just to help even it out. So to contour my nose, I'm using this LA Girl Concealer in Dark Cocoa. I'm gonna cream contour my face with the makeup by Mario Sculpting Stick. I use the shade Dark Deep. And I only use this lightly because this color is pigmented. I gotta tell. And it's very cool tone. And I put it under my lip so that my lip will look like bigger, like create a shadow there so my lips look bigger. Cause my lips are kind of small. I'm gonna set my under eye and I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. And I'm breaking it all the way up the size of my nose just to help my nose look smaller. I'm gonna put it on my eyelids. Okay, so while this is all setting on my face, um, we can make something shake with the eyes real quick. So, because I have on this bright orange <laughs> bodysuit, I wanted to use this palette from Colored Rain. It's the Sunset Chic Palette. These colors are so springy. I'm gonna just do something like real quick. I'm gonna take the sheet Evening, and I'm just dusting that in my crease. Now I'm taking the shade Nightfall, which is the deepest color in the palette. And I'm gonna put that on my outer V. So now I'm gonna take the shade Twilight, which is this pretty gold, and I'm applying it with a blending brush. So it's not as pigmented, but I don't want to do eyeliner or anything because I don't know, my eyes are watering weird today. So I'm going to put on this mascara and I'm going to pop on some lashes. Mm, these lashes are not looking this bad. Yeah, I'm just put those. Okay, so lashes are on and I wasn't going to do eyeliner on my lower lash line. I was just going to put eyeshadow, but I'm going to use this brown liner from Maybelline. And I'm just going to... Oh. Am I? Am I? Stiff ass brush? Am I? I'm going to put this in my waterline like it's a pencil. I'm going to smudge this out with eyeshadow. Okay, and to set that contour, I'm gonna use a Fenty. Okay, now we can dust away all this translucent powder and take this off now. For blush, I'm using this e.l.f. quad, the shade Dark. So I'm gonna use this one. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Amrezi highlighter from Anastasia. So, I'm going to spray my face before I put my lower lash mascara on. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. 
Of course, I'm boring and I want to do the same boring thing. I always do a new lip um, glossy, so that's what I'm going to do. Take this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss in the shade Atta Girl. everything all completed I love how it turned out I love how my skin still looks like my skin everything I used is gonna be down in the description box so check down there also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as well as hitting that notification bell so you're notified every time I post I appreciate you so much for watching this video and until next time I will see you later